how do we find all possible values of a so that this quotient of 4a plus 1 and 2a minus 7 is an integer? So we just plug in random numbers into a and see if we are lucky. Say plug 0 into a. Then the expression is equal to 1 over negative 7. Nope, not lucky enough. It turns out there is a super nice trick to find all possible values of a. Pause this video if you want to try this problem first. If you figure out the answer before watching, subscribe and leave a comment. To start, treat a as a variable. This expression is now a rational function. Since the degree for the numerator and the denominator are the same, we can use long division to rewrite it as q plus r over 2a minus 7, where q is the quotient and r is the remainder. Performing long division, we get a 2 here. Multiplying 2 by 2a minus 7, we get 4a minus 14. Next, doing the subtraction, we have negative 15 as the remainder. Thus, q is 2 and r is 15. So now, 4a plus 1 over 2a minus 7 is equal to 2 plus the fraction with numerator 15 and denominator 2a minus 7. Since our original expression is an integer, this right side must also be an integer. Now, because 2 is an integer, in order for the whole expression to be an integer, 15 over 2a minus 7 must also be an integer. If 15 over 2a minus 7 is an integer, then 2a minus 7 must be a factor of 15. Here are the factors of 15. Setting 2a minus 7 to each of these factors, we obtain these 8 equations. Solving them, we have these solutions. These 8 values are the values of a for which our original expression is an integer. Hope you find this problem fun. Stay tuned for more interesting problems and techniques. Please subscribe and share my videos. See ya.